Your questions about business, career, personal development, and achieving the American dream are more than welcome. Email them to info at makingitnow.com. Now back to more Making It with Tommy and Todd. All right, we're back. New year, new studio, new game plan, but we have Making It or Breaking It back for the year. All right, guys, so we're kind of segueing off of the last topic, which was about the state of our political economy and what we expect, what our projections are for the next couple years. Um, Next, we're going to talk on kind of a more macro level about the economy in general. So regardless of who's president, if you look back statistically, there is some major turnover economically, blow up economically about every 10 to 15 years. So the housing crisis was the last big one. That was about 12 years ago now. Um, we've survived and recovered and are actually still building, rebuilding the, the economy since then. Um, but just kind of looking forwards with the current state of our political system and our economy and where all these players are at, um, what, what are you guys thinking is going to happen over the next years? Are, are we going to make it? Are we going to have a strong economy? Are we going to thrive? Or are there red flags that you can see that business owners should really be looking out for that could cause their businesses to tank? I think we're gonna be, we got to be we have to be careful. Yeah. I mean, this isn't just like um, don't, you know, take your eye off the road for one second. Right. We do have to be careful over the next 10 years. I, I agree, Todd. We, we have to be very careful. Um, you know, whether we make it or don't make it, uh, it this isn't really a discussion about who's president or who isn't president or who should be president. This is a discussion about the American people. Uh, if we make it, it's because the American people have the right stuff. Right. And I, I believe we're going to make it. I, I, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Again, this isn't this isn't a political discussion. This is about who we are as Americans. Right. And um, I think that at the end of the day, people choose, uh, everyone chooses for their own self, self-interest at the end, you know, for, for the most part. Yeah, I believe that. And as long as people, um, we get a reasonable amount of agreement on self-interest, then we can make it. Right. If people get into their egos and they get too, you know, too divisive and too separated, it, it's hard to it's hard to make it when you're that separated. Of course, and you know uh, we have to face facts. We we are a divided country in many ways. Yes, I mean the election did show us that, if nothing else. And that's what's troubling. Right. It's you know things <clears throat> if things get a little bit more divided than usual. I mean this is right. what happens with right. with the uh, um, you know uprisings. Right. And stuff like that. You, you know I always talk about. Um, my favorite sport, football, being a microcosm of life. Right. And uh, d- divided football teams never make comebacks. No. Uh, a team, you know, that's uh, uh, driving down w- with uh, two minutes left in the game, they have to all be together. They have to all believe they can do it. And that's, that's where America finds itself right now. You know, I, um, I read a book, and it was talking about, um, actually it was about, like, tribal – uh, cultures or whatever, um, and tribal meaning uh, even you know a, a European culture, American culture, right? All that stuff, and it's amazing how war and catastrophes and big things like that, how close it brings people together. Absolutely, and they have all these stories about during World War II and um, one of the wars they they built these uh, bunkers over in uh, uh, Britain. Right. Of uh, bomb bunkers. And um, and they said, we have to get the police ready because these people are going to be in there. and It's going to be all violent. And they said no police had to come there because the people police themselves. Right. Because there was so much agreement because they were being bombed and they were at war and it brought them together. And sadly, you know, this can be, you know, if we can't, we do have the capacity to work together. Right. We well, just you don't know, need a catastrophe to to make it happen. I, I'm I'm glad you used that uh, analogy of war because if you take World War II for instance, America came together. There was no question. Uh, w- you know, our military was depleted and everything, but w- we came together as a country um, before both of our times. But America came together 
uh, for f- for the cause. Right. And, you know, um, it, it was, uh, as Tom Brokaw said, our greatest generation. They, they came together. Now, if you contrast the feeling uh, from World War II to the Vietnam War, right. where America was never together on it, exactly. uh, it ended really in disaster. Right. So we, we can't be, we, we have to learn from that lesson. Uh, people felt very strongly on both sides of the issue in uh, the Vietnam War, and um, neither, neither wins when you're not together. I think uh, that's why I think the first six months of 2017 are going to be very telling right. for the next uh, eight years, right. um, 10 years. And uh, so there's a lot we have to sit back and see what happens a little bit you know, to really judge a little bit better. Well, the election's over. Let's hope the divisiveness is over as well. Exactly. Well, it's a great, a great show today. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on that uh, people can uh, check us out after the show with. We have our YouTube channel. We have our website, makingitnow.com, where you could check out, um, listen to archive shows, this show, uh, any show you want. Um, also, our Facebook page. Our Instagram page, very active. We're very active on social media. And they can go to TommyRamfola.com. Don't forget Get more of that great Two two with Tommy uh, information. So that's it for today's show. Been a great show. And keep making it, America. This has been Making It. The source for information, insights, interviews, and in-the-trench advice for startups, struggling, and early-stage entrepreneurs and business owners nationwide. The opinions expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, staff, management, or advertisers. For more information, contact Tommy or Todd at 855-MAKING-IT. That's 855-625-4648. Or at their email address, info at makingitnow.com. Thank you for listening to Making It.